Yo, what is up everyone? Welcome back to the second video in my updated tutorial series. This is long overdue, I know, I'm a slacker. But, we are ready to dive right in, and if you missed out on the first tutorial in this series, uh, I do have a link in the description down below. To reiterate, we are starting completely over inside of After Effects, as the old tutorials that I did many years ago are obviously outdated and a lot of things have changed in the way that I animate sprites inside of After Effects. It's been a few years but we are going to pick up right where we left off from last time and today we are going to go into the settings and specs that you should have on your PC inside of After Effects to achieve smooth workflow. So let's go ahead and get started. Now if you are new here to the channel, please subscribe and don't forget to turn on notifications as I have a lot more content that I'm going to be releasing in the future. Alright guys, so let's jump right in here. Last time I mentioned that I would be going into some of the benefits of having multiple hard drives and RAM allocation and whatnot. So I want to start off this tutorial by showing you my settings and how I have everything set up inside of After Effects. Now I currently have three hard drives that are allocated for working inside of After Effects. And I'll have a list of this down below in the description of this video of what I'm using. So first up is my C drive and that is an M2 chip. And on that M2 I have all of my Adobe programs installed. So you want to have one drive where After Effects is installed on. My second internal drive is an SSD which has 128 gigs of RAM and this one is strictly for cache and I'm probably going to be upgrading to a 500 gig SSD just to get more space for my cached files but I do want to show you so if we come over here to edit and go to preferences and then if you click on media and disk cache you're going to get a pop-up window here now you'll notice that I, I went and clicked choose folder if you click that you can choose which drive you want to allocate your cache files to. So for me it's F slash cache and I've allocated 90 gigabytes of RAM of that 125 gigs or 128 gigs uh, for all of my cached uh, files. Now my third internal drive is an HDD which has all of my asset files and this is a four terabyte drive that contains all of the files that you'd be importing into After Effects. So this includes things like sprites, sounds, music, pictures, anything that would be an asset to your After Effects project file. Now let's move on to RAM. If you click on memory, which is right here, you can see how much RAM you have installed on your computer and how much RAM you want to allocate for your background applications. Now After Effects, <laughs> After Effects eats RAM for breakfast and I currently have 64 gigs of RAM, which is a lot of RAM, like I said in a previous video. And I would recommend at least 16 gigs of RAM. Anything less, you're going to be looking at some performance issues. And the more RAM that you have, the better. So I've allocated 8 gigs of RAM for all of my background apps, which leaves me with 56 gigs of RAM for After Effects. Now obviously, you don't have to have the exact same setup I do. I'm just showing you what I have and what I recommend. And at the end of the day, you have to determine how much money that you want to invest in your hardware for stable workflow inside of After Effects. So I think this was a quick tutorial today, guys, but the next tutorial will be doing some animating for sure, and I promise it won't be two years in between tutorials. One last thing I did want to mention, I do plan on finishing up this basic tutorial After Effects animation series over the next several tutorials and I'll be starting a new tutorial series which will involve more advanced teachings inside of After Effects and those will be featured on my Patreon and I'll be starting those in the next few weeks. If you head over to my Patreon page you'll notice I have a bunch of rewards and if you're interested in supporting me and my continued YouTube efforts that is greatly appreciated. Alright, so that is it from me, guys. I will see you in the next tutorial, which should be in about two years. No, I'm just kidding. I, it should be in the next week or so, and uh, I will see you guys then. Have a good one, guys.